a deal on the debt ceiling, but they still need to vote. You know, we, we, we've had on some guests so far, some financial analysts, but this is not just a financial story. No. It's also a political story, very much so. Uh, we have Tom Serafin joining us here. Good morning. And Good morning, I guess Tom. the big question is, who are the winners and who are the losers out of this thing? Well, it's all about 2012 and who gets reelected as president, either the president or will Republican get elected. And will the Senate go Democrat or go Republican? Currently, it's Democrat, but more than 20 Democratic senators are up for election. So everybody's playing this game. So I think the president did a good job in dealing with this issue, and he actually positions himself to go into 2012 more uh, comfortable with independence. Independents want responsibility in government. It looks like he's been responsible. The economy is a hot potato. I brought the hot potato yeah, yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. Well, Nobody wants it. We have to right. show this on the air. You're a Corey Ketch. Yeah. You know, okay. Now the Republicans. No, 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 Anna, you take yeah. it. No, no, I don't want it. Right, yeah. That, yeah. That's what the Republicans Definitely. and Democrats yeah. are playing. The Republicans want Obama to own the economy. It's, it's all about the economy next year. And Obama wants to bring the Republicans in and share some of the pain. So the Tea Party forced him to this table, yeah. really did a good job. And and, and you know they're winners. I think Mitch McConnell from uh, in the Republican Senate leader is a winner on this thing. The Congress, the Democrats, and the Republicans in the House of Representatives are not winners right now. Uh, and the president comes out pretty good. I mean, considering where he was. Remember what uh, Mayor Daley used to say in the old days, back in the 70s, when you see a mob coming at you, grab a grab a flag and get in front of it and make it a parade. That's what the president <laughs> did. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, you you think about. I, I can't remember a time when the budget and the debt ceiling captivated the interest of so many voters than before and perhaps we could credit the Tea Party for doing that driving this debate but when you look at it from the outside it also seems like they were fighting so much from within these two parties you had the Tea Party fighting with you know other members of the Republican Party President Obama's got a lot of the more progressive members of his own party very angry at him right now how does this impact the whole political yeah, excellent point because the Democrats are fighting they want to raise taxes the president has said since January of 2010 we're gonna have to raise taxes and this one he gave that up and the left wants to raise taxes especially on the wealthy but if you take a look at the recent numbers from the from the uh, tax council uh, five percent of everybody in America pays 38 percent of the taxes right uh, so if 47 percent of the America doesn't pay income taxes so the Republicans want to flatten the tax rate and raise the number of people that pay taxes we need more taxpayers we don't need to raise taxes according to the Republicans mm. and of course you have John Boehner who's a you know, middle of the road, independent kind of ind individual speaker, and he doesn't want to go all the way to the right like it, the Tea Party. Is, is he going to get run over though by this train? I mean, it, it looks like it looked like you know when, when that first vote when we were scheduled to have that vote on the the, the Boehner bill and it didn't happen. It looked like he was going to get run over by this thing. Do you, do you think that's that's passed or? I, I think it's passed, jeopardy? but he's going to have to legislate in the future. Remember, they did pass two budgets. They did patch two of these cap uh, cap bills to the Senate. The Senate hasn't acted. In fact, the Senate, for three years now, hasn't passed a budget for this country uh, because they can't come together. So the House did do some work. It didn't do the kind of work the Senate wanted and the President wanted. And the President controls the White House and he controls the U.S. Senate with the Democrats. So all in all, the Tea Party forced some responsibility here. Mm -hmm. Now what happens in the future? It's all about 2012. Mm -hmm. It's all about the hot potato. Yeah. Who's responsible for no jobs? Who's responsible for the fact that people are losing their homes? Who's responsible? Obama says Republicans, Republicans say Democrats. Okay, quickly, the vote is scheduled to happen potentially today. You think it will pass? It's got to pass. If it yeah. doesn't, we, we are in a monstrous situation. Corey, you were talking about the stock market going up 50, coming down yeah. 50, a move yeah. 100 points. Uh, the Very market volatile. is telling the, the Congress, get it together today. Yeah, really. You have to get it together. Tom, All thank right. You. Thank, thank you. Boys, good talking to you. Thousands of